money to work hard and to develop the brand and to share the same value of the brand. Tell me the guy he is a share, he has billions, he has a private jet, he has a boat, he has a flat in London, he has, I don't care. I don't care. I want someone who is ready to work out for the brand. So this is a very interesting point because you have a tendency and you know people in this area of the world, they welcome very well foreigners. Also it's with my experience. Huh? You are invited to Dubai, to Saudi Arabia, it's a big car, big hotel, big room, big, big restaurant, blah, 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 blah. It's oriental way of welcoming people, you know. But after, you have implementation. I mean, I sign an agreement with you. I give you my brand. I want you to be a success in the area, in the region, in Dubai, in Bahrain. In Now you have to work. You have to hire the proper people, you have to train the people, you have to develop the brand. And sometimes big groups, and it's very paradoxical, are not the best uh, vector to develop a brand. I mean, small and middle-sized group, according to me, are more uh, efficient. You can find a retail group who has uh, two or three brands, four brands, five brands. They will work on your brand. But a group who has uh, 30 brands was listed on the stock exchange. Give them your brand. They will make one million dollars or half million dollars more in their balance, in their statement of income. What would it be? Nothing. So be careful on the selection yeah. of the candidates. The market, this is the management and marketing of the Starbucks. They don't take care of it. Uh, this is what they do. Exactly. They choose. No, you, you, are, well, you know Starbucks in the region, they choose Ash Ashaya. Ashaya. But Ashaya is, uh, you know that the Starbucks for Ashaya yeah, is, a, is, a, is an anchor. But, yeah. but you know Ashaya, if you remove Starbucks and uh, Ashaya, there is nothing, huh? Let's be clear. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it's, yeah. You have groups, you know, I explain you, you know, the, you, know the pare, you know the Pareto rule, Pareto, you know Pareto or not? Pareto is an Italian sociologist, okay. What? Pareto. Pareto. It's a name, a family name. No, 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 it's not a company, it's a sociologist. No, 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 it's a sociologist, it's a sociologist. Italian, I will explain you. Pareto. Okay? It's, it's, a, it's a family name, Pareto, a sociologist. He passed away, he it, it was born 100 years ago. He invented what we call the rule of Pareto. Yes. So explain. No, oh, you, you know, I'm happy, I'm, happy, I'm happy that someone from Bahrain knows the rule of Pareto. Really? La règle du 80-20. Explain us, Ali, please. 80, 80, 20. Explain us. Well, the rule is that, so in any team or in any uh, company or any, so it, it applies a lot of things. Usually exactly. You'll have 20% responsible for 80% of the performance. Or any, so let's say even in a, in a work group, usually what happens is 20% of that team would actually Okay. Uh, it applies on a lot of things. It's, it, it's applied. It can be applicable. A graph. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's very interesting because this uh, guy, and uh, he passed away 50 years ago, and we are still uh, speaking about this rule, Pareto rule. Even if you're studying for something, let's say you know you study something for five hours, realistically, I mean it's 20 percent of your time that you actually consume. Uh, 
yeah. it's applied to uh, to many many yeah. fields including in merchand in merchandising i mean when you have a shop you will make 80 percent of your sales with 20 percent of your products in merchandising okay <coughs> regarding to brand mix in the retail group this is our topic I'm telling you, and according to Pareto rule, Ashaya, for instance, because Madame used to speak about Starbucks. Yeah. If you remove Starbucks and Ashaya from Ashaya, Ashaya is an empty uh, shell. There is nothing. 80% <laughs> of Ashaya is Starbucks and Ashaya. Okay? And it's linked with my talking about do I have interest to choose a big group or not? If you are a big group, if you, if, if you have a brand, I repeat, it's not compulsory your interest to, to deal with a, with a big retail group. It's preferable to deal with a small or medium-sized group. And in this segment, you have a lot of groups in the, in the region. With, I mean, groups uh, possessing between one and three or four or five brands. I think it can be a better choice uh, because you will get the assurance that your brand will be worked properly, will be marketed properly and will be diffused properly and that your brand will benefit all the support, all the means that your franchisee has Am I clear with that? You will have a dilemma when you have a franchise, you know? When you are a franchisee, and also for you as a culture for franchise. Do I have to treat with the big groups or small and middle-sized group? So, advantages to deal with a big group, we saw it. Disadvantages, we saw it. Now, to deal with the individual, what are the advantages? You have a brand. And someone is coming to visit you. Okay, I want to take your brand. Uh, I was uh, I was manager in a bank. I retired from the bank. I am 40 years old, 45 years old. I want to take your franchise. What are the advantages for you to give the brand, to give your brand to this franchisee? Do you will focus all this time. Yes. Very interesting. He will spend all his time working on your brand. Why? Because he needs it to, to eat at the end of the month. It's something, it's bread and butter, as we say in English. He will have to focus, not to play, not to have a fun. It's it must compulsory succeed. When you are an individual, when you take a franchise, you must compulsory succeed. It's a good answer. What else? What else? Individual, what are the advantages to grant your franchise to an individual person? You will be more flexible, to tell you the truth. When you're individual, when you deal with a franchisor, you don't have a lot of power. You are alone, individual. You have the franchisor. You cannot bargain a lot. And you will have to execute by the book. Opposite to a group, who is making a one billion sales yearly turnover. You cannot deal on the same way with the two candidates. It's totally different. What else? For individual. Individual, the, the risk that can happen, it's a financial risk. You have to be sure when you grant your franchise to an individual that he has uh, required uh, financial surface to finance a business. But normally this is the job of the bank, you know, mm -hmm. to assess this thing through a mortgage or whatsoever, 
but it's the job of a bank. When you receive a business plan fr from a future franchisee, normally you have to see if it has uh, collaterals or mortgage or whatsoever, but this is an issue because as you can say that a group who is making one billion a yearly turnover normally won't face problems, won't face financial problems, you cannot say the same about an individual. So I think that the big risk when you are dealing with an individual is a financial issue, first. Secondly, when you are an, an individual, I give you an example. Uh, if you want to enter into a mall, it's very difficult. Why? Because you, as a future franchisee, you will ask for 50 meter, 60 square meter, 70 square meter, 80 square meter. Opposite to big groups that will ask uh, 4,000 4, square meter. Okay. So when you will start dealing with the leasing of a mall, you don't have the same impact when you are an individual opposite to a group. A group, you know, uh, Ashaya, I, I saw that in Lebanon. They are in ABC Mall. I think they must have uh, 3,000 square meters. Victor, Victor, Victoria, Victoria Secret. Shek Shek, Shek Shek, Shek Shek, H&M, Starbucks, Pinkberry. <laughs> they have <laughs> one third of the mall is occupied by Mr. Al Shaya, so <coughs> they have a bargain power. And this group, he won't pay the square meter at the same rate than you. <laughs> this is the story. If you want to. Rent in ABC, for instance, you will pay between 2,000 and 2,500 bucks per square meter per year. I'm sure, I mean, I say that, uh, that Ashaya will pay $500. Okay? So you don't have the same bargain power. And uh, if you want to enter in a mall, I, I'd say you that for uh, either as franchise or franchisee as a rule. You know that the unique criteria now for leasing in a mall, there is one criteria which is considered to accept you or to reject you when you apply to get uh, premises in a mall. There is one criteria. Do you know it? I'm asking you the question. But more technical. If you go to visit today, uh, leasing. The It's linked with brand awareness, but it's not exactly that. You have a franchise, you want to enter into a mall. You take an appointment with uh, Majed El Futaim in Dubai. You want to enter into Mall of the Emirates. They will ask you one question, and for sure they will answer to the question on your behalf, because they know the answer. They will ask you one thing. Is your brand traffic generator? One question. One question, not two, not three, not four, not five. Is your brand traffic generator? What does it mean? I take your brand. I put it in the mall. Will it attract more customer and more footfall comparing to the previous tenant? This is the only criteria. Alors, for sure, there is a link between f traffic generator generator and brand identity because if you are Zara as assumption you will generate traffic uh, it's clear you know but it was not exactly you see the one is the consequence of the other okay you have a strong brand identity you will generate traffic uh, for sure according to this reasoning they prefer now malls and it's a little uh, Strange because now, yeah, I was in Jordan uh, 15 days ago. Uh, I'm here in Bahrain. Last week I was in Lebanon. And when you visit the mall, the mall now in the mall, you have the same brands. You have the same brands. 
in Amman, here, in Lebanon, in Dubai, in Saudi Arabia. Why? Because they're leading, they say, okay, we take Zara because Zara traffic generator, okay. We take Victoria's Secret traffic generator. We take Shake Shake traffic generator. We take uh, Pull and Beer traffic generator. We take Agandas traffic generator. And, and Starbucks traffic generator. And Paul, in each mall you have one Paul, traffic generator. Okay, and there is a mix, you know. You have a matrix in the mall to, to arrange everything. But finally, and this is, <coughs> this is a system malls prefer brand with strong brand identity, strong brand equity, equity, strong brand image to generate traffic because the, 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 the objective of a mall and the commitment of a mall is to guarantee footfalls for the tenants. I mean, if you enter into a mall, if you accept to pay between 2,000 and 2,500 bucks per square meter per year, you must have a kind of guarantee of the footfall. If not, you take a shop in the street. So, malls now, they prefer brand with big names because big brand, big brand sell and attract people. But you still have a niche and it's what we, we spoke yesterday. And I think that you have to work on that if you will become a franchisor. It's innovation and differentiation. <coughs> the only way, the only way, yes. if, you are, if you are not Starbucks, I have no yes, but <laughs> if, if you are not Starbucks, if you are not Samsung, if you are not HM, what can you do to enter into a mall if it's not to be different? This is what happened for Nokia. You know? Yeah, yes. You know, you have to be different. If you're not a big brand, you have only one choice to be different. And again, I come back to innovation. Always. Differentiation, innovation. How can you do? You want, to, you want to, Mr. Ahmad, you, you know? He wants to launch his brand, you know, of burger. You are not a uh, Shake Shake. Okay, you're not McDonald's. You have to be different. On a way, quality, products, packaging, brand uh, image, brand positioning, decor, uh, light, storytelling, what, whatever you want. But you have to be different. In this case, if you are different, you go to see Mr. Majed El Futaim, telling him, I want Crave to enter in your food court, and perhaps you will get a chance to enter. Because you are different. Not because you are famous. This is different. The only niche that you have with the mall is to be different and to bring something new. To bring something new. By the way, Pinkberry, you were speaking about Pinkberry, uh, is there a concept? This is not the issue, concept or not concept, but the, the yog frozen yogurt. They were the first in the region, I think, to, to enter into the market here, you know, Pinkberry. And uh, frozen yogurt uh, a few years ago was something new. It was new. We used to know Italian ice cream, Mary Cream. A normal uh, ice cream, Buza, Basket Robins, uh, Agendas, and the uh, Arabic uh, Buza as uh, Baghdash, uh, you know, or Turkish. Okay? You bring frozen yogurt, it's something new. The brand, yeah, with fruits, exactly, with toppings, and uh, it's a story, you know. So, okay. And because he is also a Shia group, he has access to prime location. He managed, first of all, to enter into the malls. But I think, and we like it or not, this is not the issue, that uh, Pingberry was at this time innovating. Now you have a lot of followers. Now everybody is doing frozen yogurt. Is doing very <laughs> you should talk about your ice cream. I will taste. Yeah. This evening I will yeah. taste. Yeah. Yes. You know, so you have to, you have to be different. 
Really, you have to be different. And in this purpose, you, you have to foster innovation, as I told you. And last, yesterday, you saw the one also show. <laughs> exactly. So, take a picture, if you want, of the link. Okay? Because I don't have... Uh, you can come uh, here, uh, take the picture. Because uh, I don't have an internet connection. I wanted to show it to you. I don't have... Uh, you know? You, ca you, can, you can have a look. It's interesting. He's describing the, the profile that uh, is recommended to get a franchisee, ideal candidate. Fitzpatrick. Yes, you can only take the name. Tony yeah. Fitzpatrick. It will come. Yes, YouTube. Tony Fitzpatrick. He has many videos. One of them is the ideal candidate. How to select your candidate. Is an Irish guy. Yes. 